welcome to week two of our online youth service. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I watch an impact service online, I've got to have my essentials. So I've got to have some comfy clothes, whether that's sweatpants or a hoodie. I've got to have some snacks. So something sweet, something salty, a cup of coffee, and then I have to have a journal and my Bible. So if you don't have those things, then go back and grab those because we have an incredible worship and message tonight. So just a few things before we get started is we want to encourage you guys this week, make sure that you're commenting, that you're tagging us with all of your posts, and we are actually gonna be doing something special. So starting tonight, we want you guys to tag us in your youth setup. So whether you guys are watching from your bedroom or from your dining room table or from outside. We want to see your setup and we want this to be fun. So tag us in my impact and let us know how you're watching because every Wednesday we are going to pick someone new that we will deliver quarantine snacks to. So make sure that you guys tag us. Also, if you know of a friend or a family member who might be struggling and might want to listen to this message and make sure that you are tagging them as well and encouraging them to watch with you. Also, every Sunday we are still having city groups. So we're doing them via Zoom. This past Sunday was our first. I love getting to connect with my city group. So if you are in a city group and you got to tune in last Sunday, awesome. And if not, and you want to get connected, maybe you don't know what a city group is, or you just want to get more info about it, then feel free to DM us and we would love to get you connected. So as we are getting ready to enter into a time of worship, I just want to encourage you guys. I know it's hard and I know it's different worshiping in a different atmosphere and not being at you in the physical building, but just know that God is with us and we can put our trust in Him and that He is already going before us. He sees where we're at. And so with that, worship is not about the atmosphere of a room. It's about the atmosphere of your heart. And so let's just be encouraged in that together and let's be expectant of what God has for us tonight. You get on your feet. Let's sing. Your favor waits within the future. My dreams are small compared to yours. Why should Every little thing 
guys, welcome to Impact Online. Thank Hopefully you. you guys are having a great night. I don't know what you've done today. I don't even know what you've done today. But wherever you're at right now, make sure you comment, you share, and like Lindsay said, take a picture. We want to see your streaming setup. Are you getting fancy? Are you just watching on your phone? Are you watching on your TV? Take a picture and tag us on Instagram, at MyImpact, yeah. and you could get some quarantine snacks, which I would love right now. I know, that would really be great. There's really <laughs> nothing in here. Um, so <laughs> just in case cup? you were wondering, there's nothing in my cup. Nate actually does have some coffee, but hey, hopefully you've been enjoying Youth Online. We've been having Absolutely. a whole lot of fun. Even the weekend services, just having church online, it's awesome that technology just allows us yeah. to continue just to you know meet together and learn and grow in God's word. And so it's I, I enjoyed last week. If you didn't watch last week, you can go to theassembly.org slash youth stuff and find our last week's message also all of our social media um, to just be able to stay connected yeah. and up to date on all the things like that we're doing uh, but also you know we are having a lot of fun tonight but last week we uh, we may not have taken social distancing quite as serious <laughs> as we needed to so we, we spaced ourselves out just a little bit more um, but again as we also said last week you know social distancing is a thing but just because we have to be distant doesn't mean we have to be disconnected yeah, and so good. With that being said, last week we went on Instagram Live after service, mm -hmm. but tonight we're actually going to go on Zoom after service. That's what we've used for city groups. It's what we'll use again for city groups this upcoming week. Um, but we're going to go on Zoom again, and the meeting ID and the password will be at the bottom of the screen. You can check that out. We would love to hang out with you and just really like chill because, again, we're all in different places, but at least that way we can kind of be face to face and have some fun together. So. And it's super easy too. All you have to do is, like Caleb said, find that meeting ID and we'll see you guys there right after service around like 7.30. Yeah. So I mean, it'll be, be perfect. We can join in anytime. Well, hey, last week we talked all about trust and I love how Pastor Garrison, um, his song, Every Little Thing that he just did is all about trust. You know, we're not gonna, we don't know tomorrow, but we know God right. has it and every little thing is going to be okay. And that's really been the theme of all of this is whether yeah. we realize it or not, before this moment happened, before COVID-19, are you trusting God? But really right now, more than anything, what are you leaning into? What are you putting your right. trust into? What is essential in your life? And I wanted to just talk about the essentials. It's a word we're hearing a lot. So yeah. we're on what? Day 12, I day 14, I think, of isolation and quarantine. What is your essential go-to snacks? You talked about coffee. Yep, you didn't coffee. have any of yours, but I got some here. Oh, That's a go-to for me as I take a sip. Could not survive without coffee. Um, I will say snacks. I, right now, really love the Sour Patch Kids, like the little strawberry ones. Ooh, They're so okay. good. I have okay. some in my backpack. I should have <laughs> brought them. Gosh, surprised you don't have them full in of your coffee cup. That would be great. So, a great idea. What's, what's some of yours? Let's hear in the comments what is your go to quarantine snack, and maybe, just maybe, we'll put some in your mailbox or at your front door or something like yeah. that. Um, gummy bears for me. Ooh, I love gummy call. bears. Um, coffee, obviously, we already talked about that. Ice cream. I don't know why. Whoa. Like the other day, it said it was like 90 degrees outside, and that's the day that Lindsay was like, hey, babe, let's go do a bunch of outside stuff. It was 90 degrees. I went inside. I was like, I just need ice cream. I was out of ice cream. Chris Bailey came to the rescue and brought me some ice Hooked cream. You up. And that's, that's a go to for me. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Let's hear it in the comments. Let's see what you guys like. And then what's some more quarantine essentials? You know, Skittles. Yeah. Taste the rainbow. There you go. That's a great point. Skittles, y'all. Like, any candies, you know? Cereal. Wheat thins, that's another big one for me. Cereal. There are some cereal lovers. You'd eat cereal almost for like every meal of the day. Yep. Um, Breakfast, lunch, and dinner cereal. That'd yeah. be incredible. There's so many. Let us know what toilet yours are. Toilet paper. That's a big essential right now. Oh, yeah. It's not a snack. How don't, are you don't doing? Don't try to eat that. How are you doing on toilet paper? I'm doing good. I drove three hours. I've been going to Target and Walmart at night, which may have been the problem, but toilet paper was all gone and wow. we were getting scarce. And we drove to Branson before all the, the regulations set in and we got like two giant things of toilet paper. I was that guy, uh, but I'm good on toilet paper. But nice. if you need some, let me know. And maybe there'll <laughs> be like a, a roll wrapped up in some wrapping paper. With in a bow box. on it. I don't know, with a bow made out of, actually I was gonna say made out of toilet paper, but that's just a waste of a precious commodity yes. and essential. We're not about that. Uh, but, but it's a word that we've been hearing a lot about essentials. And maybe you've approached it as the essential candy, the essential coffee, the essential toilet paper. Yeah. Um, but our government is using that word a lot 
lot. Like essential businesses need to remain open. Essential employees need to be open. Um, and I think there's a lot of scripture in the Bible that talks yeah. about the essentials. So yeah. grab your Bible and read along with Pastor Caleb. Yeah, so we're going to turn to Hebrews chapter 12, um, verses 25 through 28, and this will be in the message. And here's what it says. So don't turn a deaf ear to these gracious words. If those who ignored earthly warnings didn't get away with it, what will happen to us if we turn our backs on heavenly warnings? His voice that time shook the earth to its foundations. This time he's told us quite plainly, he'll also rock the heavens. One last shaking from top to bottom, stem to stern. The phrase one last shaking means a thorough house cleaning, getting rid of all the historical and religious junk so that the unshakable essentials stand clear and uncluttered. Do you see what we've got? An unshakable kingdom. And do you see how thankful we must be? Not only thankful, but brimming with worship, deeply reverent before God. I love that. I love I love this verse, and there's some things in there that we want to break down tonight and kind of unpack for you. Um, but the part in there that really stands out to me, Caleb, is the so that the unshakable essentials stand clear yeah. and uncluttered. Yeah. Um, the clear and uncluttered part, that's probably a lot like a lot of your rooms. I don't know how many students have talked yeah. to you and been like, this is all I'm doing. I've cleaned everything in my house. I don't know if you've Pretty done much, that. Yeah. That's what we've done. Our closets are clear and uncluttered. Um, but hopefully, you no, know, that's that's what your life is like. You're, you're, you're standing firm on God's word. Your life is clear and, uncl- and cl- uncluttered, if I can say that word right. Um, but... In our life right now, there's a lot of things we're trying to lean into and trust yeah. that we're trying to, to make sure that our trusting in God and not ourselves or our friends or anything like that. Um, and why I love this verse and why we wanted to break this verse down for you tonight is, is that God is saying he's going to shake the world. And we're not saying, hear, hear our heart, we're not saying that God sent this virus to shake the world. Okay, we're not, we're not saying that COVID-19 is, a, is God sending it to shake the world. But I do believe that God is using it to shake your values. I do believe that God's using it to to pull out what is prominent in your life. Have you been yeah. an all taught Christian, or have you been a Christian that's living it out and you're, you're you're obeying God and you're putting your trust in Him? Your foundation is set. And so tonight, let's just talk about foundations. Let's yeah. talk about what we're building our lives on. No, that I, really, really matters. I love that. I mean, especially when you talk about foundations. There's a story in Matthew chapter seven, even where Jesus is teaching um, in verses twenty four through twenty seven. He says, anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it's built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, like the person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come, the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. And what's kind of crazy about this, I I was reading this verse and it got me thinking about a story um, that I heard like when I was young and probably one that all of you have heard. And that's the three little pigs. Have you heard heard the story? story. If you've heard the story story. of the three little pigs, comment with some like bacon emojis or something (laughs) in the chat, you know, some brick emojis, if that's a thing, like maybe a wolf emoji, big bad wolf, what's up, you you know? If you're the wolf, you can comment that one. Yeah. The three little pigs, like there was the three One of them who built his house out of straw, one who built his house out of sticks, and one who built his house out of brick. Mm -hmm. And each of them, you know, they're chilling in their own little house, and the big bad wolf shows up, and he starts huffing and puffing, and he's going to blow their house down, you know, not by the hair of their chinny-chin-chin or whatever (laughs) it says exactly. But he blows away the house that's made out of straw. And then he blows away, you know, the house that's made out of sticks. But he could not do anything to that Mm -hmm. house that was made out of the bricks. And it's kind of like in these verses, you know, that we read where what we build our life on and what we build our life out of, like is really significant and really important because when those floodwaters rise, when the storms come, when the rain comes, when the virus hits, when all these things in life maybe fall apart and there's disappointment and worry and anxiety and even just maybe some bitterness, Mm -hmm. you know, is our life really built on the firm foundation of Jesus. Yeah. And I think that that's really what we're trying to say tonight that is essential. You yeah, know, that's absolutely. really the one most important thing. Like there's so many other things we could build our life on, so many other materials, you know, that we could use, but it's all about Jesus. And, and that's really what's most important. And so, um, you know, you, you kind of get to see those, those two different things. There's the sand and there's the rock. Mm-hmm. And, and really we get to kind of choose, like, which one am I going to build my house on. And so, Pastor Nate, like, what do you kind of think just as far as like, 
you know, other things that we know are essential just to our faith and like how we can even in this time in the midst of all of this, like to keep growing in our faith, what are some things that are essential to that? I think some of the things we talked about last week um, in seasons of uncertainty, what are you leaning into right now more than anything? Uh, essentials from last week, and then we'll get into more for this week. Community is a massive essential in your life. That's that's what this is all about. You know, the the beauty in all of this is maybe it's helping you understand that the church isn't the right. assembly thirty five hundred West New Orleans, but it's you. That's good. And it's us. Yeah. Um, so lean into community right now more than ever. You may be distant, but you're not disconnected. Right. I mean, if you have a phone, if you have a laptop, if you have a computer, you have access to connect to people, connect to the world, and share the message of Jesus the people that need to hear it. Yeah. Um, so community, um, connection, um, and then just using this moment to grow even more spiritually. But tonight, really, the essentials, the foundation that we have to build our life on yeah. um, is worship. Um, the, the the first thing, more than anything, we have to make sure that we have a solid worship lifestyle. And I know, like Lindsay was saying, maybe that looks different for you right now. Uh, maybe you're at home. Yeah. You're like, it's so hard to worship without you know it's this different. amazing band every single Wednesday night. Um, but worship is not about the atmosphere of a room. It's about the atmosphere of your heart. Yeah. It's it's showing God He's worthy of praise. He's worthy right. of honor. He's worthy of all these things. So how are you living in this moment? Yeah. Worship out because that's what the scripture is saying is express gratitude. Some translations say express worship. When God's shaking everything, yeah. worship him even more, which just seems so counterintuitive to what we want to do. We put our trust in ourselves, but God's right. saying when the shaking comes, when your foundation is tested, worship me. Mm. Um, the second thing is prayer. Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says this. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Yeah. And tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace. So when you don't yeah. worry about everything, but when we pray about everything, Caleb, right. when our foundation and the world is being shaken, we tell God what we need. He'll give us peace because He is peace, yeah. which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Um, the third thing I think we really need to lean into as a foundation is the Word of God, the Bible. Right. Uh, it's living, it's breathing, it's active. Are you being active in Scripture? Um, right now, more than ever, anything, the, the truth of God, you read Hebrews, you read Matthew 7, all these things are truth, not just then, but today. And if you don't know the truth of God, it's hard to live and walk out the truth. Um, so use this moment, get a good Devo plan. Yeah. Um, we, we started one on Monday. We started one last week, Focus. It was an incredible Devo plan. Um, but we join with us, you know, find the link in our bio on Instagram, read along, find another one to read to. Uh, but use this moment, this downtime, not to get caught up on shows, but to get caught up on the word of God and hear what he has to say um, to your life. And then in worship, we all express ourselves differently. Yeah. Um, but find ways to to understand that worship's not nece necessarily these, these foundations, worship, prayer, uh, reading God's word. It's not about the environment of a seat or a pew. It's about the environment of my heart right. and express that and build that into your foundation. Yeah, it's interesting because I think a lot of times on Wednesdays we'll talk about, you know, how can I live this out at home? Like yeah. we can worship in our houses. We can read our Bibles at our kitchen tables. We can pray in our rooms, you know, and, and sometimes I think it might be kind of hard to take Wednesday nights and, and keep our faith going, you know, throughout the week. Even, you know, this past weekend at City Groups, we had students who talked about how, you know, you're really missing Wednesday nights, just at least in, in the setting that we can all meet together mm -hmm. um, because it's a great time just to encourage each other and you learn and it kind of just like keeps you going throughout the week to some degree, but you can still do that. Like the same God who's here with us right now, the same God who's with us here on Wednesdays when we're all here together is the same God who's sitting right there with you as you're listening to this message. And he's the same God that'll be there tomorrow whenever you're chilling in your room reading your Bible. He's the same God that'll be there on Friday whenever you're yeah, hanging out, good. you know, in your kitchen making food, listening to worship music. And yeah. so none of that changes. The setting may change, but God is still the same. Yeah, and I think that that's just so cool. Um, I think honestly, this whole coronavirus pandemic thing has been a huge wake up call. Um, for a lot of us, for me even in some ways yeah. too, um, because I think it's easy to say, man, my foundation is on Jesus. Like yeah. I'm firm in that foundation. I've built my house in the yeah, right absolutely. place. I've built my life on the right thing. But I think then, you know, when the storms come and when the floods come and those things really get put to the test, I think for some of us, we may have kind of seen, you know what, I may have yeah. been saying all the right things, but some of my actions, some of, you know, 
it really was just talk. Some of, you know, what I have, have said isn't really being lived out. And I'm not yeah, really absolutely. walking that out in the fullest. I mean, there, like we said, there's other things we can build our lives on. I mean, maybe you've really built your life on sports. And I know that for a lot of you, like because the semester has been cut short, you know, now you have virtual school and, and most likely we are not going to get to finish out the sports seasons. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that's a huge bummer, like just in a lot of ways. Um, but if your identity is all caught up in sports, maybe this has been a really like testing time for you. Same thing maybe um, if it's in friends or just in other relationships, you know, like you, I know a lot of you are missing your friends right now. Again, so thankful that technology allows us to be able just to communicate with each other, yeah. to be able to even see each other face to face, even if we're still, you know, miles apart from one another. Um, but we can all still stay connected, but it's just not the same, you know, in some ways. And so there is some, some, bitterness maybe that can creep in a little bit especially I know for you seniors that are out there um, it's going to be a very different end to your whole entire schooling career yeah, like it's you, not what they imagined right all. you know they they've dreamed you know all of these years up to to graduation and now that may even look a little bit different you know there's virtual school now that has been announced and so it's just it's not what you would have pictured but again the good news is that God is in it that God's yeah. not surprised, that he's still on the throne yeah, and he's on, still in control down. of all of it. And so we can put our trust in him. And I love that in Matthew 7, um, Jesus says those who listen and follow what he says. Mm -hmm. You know, as he's talking about his teaching, um, there's both a, a part of us that we have to hear God's yeah. word. We have to read God's word, know what he's saying to us, but then we have to do it. It can't just be all talk because we can say all the right things, but we have to do those right things too. Yeah, and good. I think in these moments really where our faith is being tested, these are the moments where we can say, you know what, God, my senior year may have been cut short in some ways. And there are some things that I'm not going to get to experience in the same yeah. way I thought I would. And, and maybe life is different and I'm afraid and I am bitter or, or whatever it may be for you. But you can say, you know what, all of those things come second because yeah, my good. foundation is on Jesus and I know that he's holding it all together and that that's what really is essential in life. Yeah. And so I love even, you know, you referenced um, that verse in Philippians, you know, just talking about prayer and bringing things before God. And, and I love that it talks about how the peace of God will guard our mm -hmm. hearts. And, and I was talking about this last week just with some people. And I feel like that sometimes when we think of peace, we think of like almost passiveness to some degree, you know, like no conflict at all. But I feel like the peace of God really is like an aggressive peace that kind of fights on our behalf. Whenever yeah. those thoughts, those negative thoughts, um, those feelings that maybe aren't the best because of all the situations going on, when they try to attack you and make you feel overwhelmed with the way the circumstances are in life, yeah. that's where God's peace is fighting on your behalf yeah, to absolutely. guard your heart from that, to help you to stay positive, to help yeah. you to keep growing, and, and just to maintain that mindset that you want to be in in the midst of all this craziness. Because yeah. it's so sure. easy sometimes just to get out of that. So yeah. Absolutely. The, th the thing I love about all, every scripture that even even who God is in his nature yeah. is when the world is shaken and it talks again in Haggai about he's going to shake the world right. but God's still going to remain. It's yeah. not like this this virus has changed everything. Right. Um I mean if full transparency it it's we're we're getting out of March. I would have been glued to my TV watching mm. March Madness because yeah. I love sports. Yeah. Um, basketball. If we're in the heat of the NBA playoffs, if you're a Thunder fan, maybe you went into this season. I don't know yeah. if you're a Thunder fan. I think you are. But oh, yeah. maybe you went into this season, you're like, there's no way. We have no shot. We right. traded away everybody good. Right. We got who, – who are all these people? Right. Um, and it's just – you're good. You made the playoffs, and then the NBA is canceled. Mm. And everything we thought we knew about our life, thought we knew about our routine is shaken right now. But the thing I've really enjoyed in this season is in this moment, I'm leaning into God and I'm trusting God more right. than I ever did before, which yeah. maybe sounds really weird to you to have one of your pastors say, I don't know. Yeah. But it's not that I wasn't leaning into him before, but in this moment, I'm choosing to say, you know what, God, I don't know what tomorrow holds. I don't know when COVID-19 is going to be right. over, but I know you're in control. Yeah. I know you're shaking everything, but the one thing that cannot be shaken is the kingdom of God. Yeah. And I know that my trust is in you. My foundation is built on you, that if this was the three little pigs, that I am the brick and not the hay, uh, and that when life happens, right. I'm leaning in. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm leaning into worship. I'm leaning into the word. I'm leaning into prayer. I'm leaning into community. Yeah. Um, and everything might be shaken and different, 
but God's still the same. Right. God still remains. And that's right. what's so encouraging and so amazing um, in, in this entire thing is that I'm choosing to take this and to grow. Yeah. And hopefully you are too. That's something actually, even just as you were talking a little bit, you know, saying, whoa, like what are youth pastors even? Like they <laughs> struggle, you know, with this. And, and honestly, just as you were talking, like there's the part of my mind that's just turning right now because it's like, you know what? I trust God like with a lot of things. Like we trust yeah. him with our finances. Like we trust him just with our lives and the plans that he has for us and all the different things, you know, that we talk about with you guys on a weekly basis even. But there's new challenges presented just by this virus and by this yeah, situation. Absolutely. I mean, for example, and this is just like a personal one, and, and I'll go into more detail maybe in a couple of weeks in a different message. But like last Wednesday, if you were on Instagram Live with us after service, um, Kelsey and I found out that day that like our cruise for our honeymoon is canceled. And so like those plans, you know, now are just kind of like blown apart all because, you know, things are shutting down and whatnot mm -hmm. and cruise lines, especially like it's kind of a, a dangerous thing, I think, to do. But yeah. I mean, it's just another one of those things where it's like, you know what, God, you're not surprised by that, though. Like, yeah. you know, I mean, even Absolutely. if I think all the way back to the beginning of February, there was a moment where um, our, our first wedding venue actually went bankrupt. And so they like totally went out of business, like still really haven't even heard from them, like no promise of ever getting any money back or anything. But it was literally like within two days that God showed up and provided a yeah. venue and it was like it worked out all to the dollar amount like crazy god moment really was a miracle and so that's where we just know that in all of this there are some new challenges you know the whole honeymoon thing but we know that god's going to work it out <laughs> that we can trust him that we can build our lives on him because he's trustworthy like and he's yeah. stronger than all this and yeah. so absolutely absolutely so the the song we started every little thing is all about leaning into god and trusting mm. god and here's here's how we want to end tonight um, with worship, you know, because that's a foundation. Yeah. That's that's a principle that needs to be in your life. Because when shaking comes, express gratitude, express worship to God. Yeah. So in just a second, we're gonna go into worship. Um, and here's what I want you guys to do: if it's uncomfortable, just get out of that mindset. Yeah. Um, shake it off, because again, worship's not about a room. It's not about lights. It's not about um, drums. It's not about Garrison and this incredible team that a lot of you are on. Yeah. It is about you expressing to God how thankful you are for everything he's doing because in season and out of season, he does not change. In season and out of season, he remains. In COVID-19, He's still God, and right. it's shaken up a lot of things, but it really, it's given us a platform to express gratitude to God for what He is doing. So right now, wherever you're at, enter into this time of worship with us.
So Jesus, we just thank you for this time that we've had together. Um, just again, to hear from your word, to hear what you're speaking to us, to worship you, and even just to focus in and reflect on where our lives are built. Maybe tonight there are students watching this um, whose lives are built on all sorts of different things, Jesus, but they've come to that realization that the only thing that's essential, the only thing that's really worth it, that can withstand all the things that come against us is you. And so God, I just pray that right now you would just flood into every home, into every heart, God, that you would just really begin to stretch these students in ways maybe that they haven't been stretched before, God, that they would grow in this time, that it wouldn't be something that we just get through, but God, we would get to see the purpose in the midst of this time, that we would grow and that we'd be able to make it through and, and one day be able to look back on, on all that we've yes. done and all that you've done in our lives. And, and I pray that you would just help us to stay focused on all the blessings and, and the things that we have in our lives that we can be thankful for. I know that there's a lot of things and disappointments that maybe have crept in, but God, we know that you're still good, um, that you stay the same even as the situation changes from day to day. Yes, um, and so I pray that you would just help us to focus on those things, God, the, the fact that you are good, that you love us, um, that we can have a relationship with you. And I pray that we would dive just head over heels into all of the things yes, that we've God. talked about tonight, the worship, the prayer, um, reading your word, Jesus. Let this be a time that we grow exponentially more than we ever thought we would. We thank you for it. We love you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Everybody said, amen. amen. All right, wait. Well, hey, here's some things you need to know. One, we love you. Okay, yes. we miss you. Um, and this is not ideal, but we're making the best out of a not so ideal situation. Uh, but we love you. We miss you. Um, if you need some encouragement, like everyone does, yeah. encourage somebody. Yeah. Um, share this message with them, comment, um, let them know how they can build their life and their foundation and what they're leaning and putting their trust into. Um, but if you just want some good music to listen to, maybe you're tired of the same thing you've been listening to, um, we created a playlist for you. Go to Spotify. Um, My Impact is our channel. Um, we've got good vibes. We've got worship. If you want tomorrow morning when you wake up, you want to start your day before yeah. Zoom calls and Zoom classes, yeah. um, tune into that playlist. Worship God in your room. Uh, dig into the Word of God and join us on our Devo plan. Again, the link for that is in our Instagram. We love you guys. We miss you. And we'll see you back here again next Wednesday night. Take care. Peace.